This video will demonstrate oral endotracheal intubation. The first provider assists ventilations, while the second provider assembles and tests the equipment, which includes multiple-sized endotracheal or ET tubes, laryngoscope and blades, malleable stylet, water-soluble lubricant, 10 cc syringe, suction, stethoscope, in-tidal CO2 monitor. Select the proper sized ET tube based on the patient's size. If a malleable stylet will be used, place it inside the ET tube with the end of the stylet about one half to one inch from the distal end of the tube. Lubricate the distal end of the ET tube with a water-soluble lubricant. Before intubation, Hyperoxygenate the patient with four to six ventilations to achieve an oxygen saturation of 100%. Assume a position above the patient's head. With a laryngoscope on the left hand, open the patient's airway and insert the blade into the mouth and behind the tongue. Continue inserting the laryngoscope blade into the posterior pharynx. Lift up and forward with a laryngoscope handle and visualize the vocal cords. With the right hand, insert the ET tube between the vocal cords until the proximal end of the cuff passes through the cords. Note the markings on the tube, indicating the depth of insertion, which is usually 21 centimeters for the average adult female and 23 centimeters for the adult male. Holding the tube in place, remove the laryngoscope blade, attach the syringe, and inflate the cuff with 5 to 10 cc's of air. Remove the stylet if used and attach a bag valve device. Begin ventilations while auscultating for equal breath sounds and absent gastric sounds. Adjust the ET tube if needed to obtain equal breath sounds. Then secure the ET tube in place. Verification of endotracheal tube placement. Once intubation has been completed, Specific measures should be taken to ensure that the ET tube has been properly placed in the trachea. Techniques to verify tube placement include the use of both clinical assessments and adjunctive devices. Clinical assessments include the following. Direct visualization of the ET tube passing between the vocal cords, presence of bilateral breath sounds, and the absence of air sounds over the epigastrium during ventilations. Visualization of the chest rising and falling during ventilations. Fogging or water vapor condensation in the ET tube on expiration. Adjunctive devices include the following. Carbon dioxide or CO2 monitoring to include in-tidal CO2 monitoring, capnography, and colorimetric CO2 detector. Pulse oximetry. Esophageal detection device. While each of the techniques in both the clinical assessments and adjunctive devices has unique qualities, none of the assessments or devices is 100% accurate by itself. Therefore, two or more of the clinical assessment techniques should be performed, followed by the use of at least one of the adjunctive devices.